So I'm wondering, what is the predicted arrival of Nibiru? I've already seen the little signature on the one side of the sun and the skies have been wowed all day long. Let's see if we have something on the other side. If you're just tuning in, because there are people, there are groups of people who said there is something up there in the sky. When he's coming back from recycling, I saw the signature that is on that side. And now the signature that is on this side. So what is, you all, the predicted? See, why, why you ask yourself, why you got to put a big X right here where there was a rainbow signature right above? Why did you got to do that? Hello, everyone. So I know that there is a lot of um, predicted dates. There is for a lot of predicted things. And um, there are some who say that Nibiru, the planets are here. They can see different types of planets. Their eyes are honed in on them, you all, in the sky. This sky has been a mess all day long. It has. And I've seen some other pictures, and their skies have been a mess all day long, too. It's been wild. Of course, you know, the weather is like 70-some-odd degrees where I'm at. Hello, you all. Is, um... Is there a halo in the sky around the sun? No, it's the, it's the two signatures on both sides of the sun is what I noticed. And um, if there was a halo, um, I didn't see it. I didn't because the sky was so like this. It's too bright. It, it, it blasts my eyes to even look at it, you all. So I, I can't look at it. This is a See, if that sun were to move in front of this, look at that. See, who, who can look at that? I can't look at that. That thing is too bright, you all. It is, but I know that there is predictions of something coming, a cataclysmic event, a pole shift. That I've been seeing it on the Facebook that a pole shift, I've been seeing this for a while, a pole shift is imminent. Now, is there any fact to that or any, is there any truth to that? that a pole shift is imminent? I don't know. I, I don't study it, but I'm seeing it. And there's a lot of people who um, who are listening to what is being said about that, you all. There is. And I'm just wondering, are there predictions out there other than the Nibiru, but kind of tied into that cataclysmic thing? A 2046, Mike Decker. Um, hello there, Michelle, honey. We are shifting. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for uh, tuning in because I have not been able to keep tab on that. I have heard of a 2024 and then a 2026 date of like a Nibiru arrival or something like that. But there, is there something else coming? Does something else have to be, does the groundwork need to be laid um, for that? Let's see. Look how look a while. Look at this kind of. What are they doing right there, you are? There's something else up there in the sky. Somebody may say, well, Gina, you know what that is. It's the nano things up there in the sky. Or it's the silts. And check out the channel, The Final Days. Um, yeah, we have seen that channel. I, I thought she would do daily updates, but I don't think she does, you all. That's right. She um, does the weather, the live weather cams at times. Now, there are people who say that Planet X or Nibiru does not exist. The Destroyer, the Nemesis, or whatever. Um, that it doesn't exist. It's all make-believe. We live in a holographic world, a make-believe world. So how could something like this happen, you all? Really, how could it happen? Um, it's going to be a solar flash, and it will usher in the blue Kachina. Okay, the red and blue Kachina. Okay, I got that. It's just been really windy. It has extremely windy, you all. This thing right here. Okay, I want you to look at these dark shadows right here. See the dark shadows? How could these dark shadows be up there in the sky with the curvature that they have if something was not occupying that space? See, these things have been flying around all day long. Well, let me see if I can catch this one. Uh, it's like way up there. Well, I can't even see it. 
but there's something flying in the sky. You see it right there in the center, a thin line. All different types. But how could we have a curvature like that if something wasn't occupying that space in the sky? How could we? I don't think that we could. There's something else up there in that sky, you all. That, that is a given. There's something in the sky other than clouds, other than chemtrails, other than just a big old screen. There's something solid up there that's occupying the space in the clouds. Hello. Love. Oh, I thought you were going to say love is the key. Yes, love is the key. Uh, I like the chimes too. I really do. Your husband retired from the 104th. 101st oh man that was the main one that would always get um, called up the 101st um we'll be praying thank you for sharing yeah you finished watching the most recent video of vincent and winard who said nibiru will be here on thursday oh wow christina williams on october the 27th on the feast of trumpets following the rapture as shown in the stellarium Stella Arium, Stella Arium. Um, okay, now I know how to say it. Um, thank you. Now, uh, November the 2nd, 2022, the return of the Anunnaki. Oh, return of Inky. So, you all, there really is something going on. And, you know, as I was driving back from town earlier, there was like six Chinook helicopters flew right over. Those Chinooks, they can uh, drop a, a big army tank or a Jeep's. That that's how powerful they are, you all. And a lot of other countries are getting them, you all. Things are ramping up in the world of the world war, world of wars, or something like that. Things are ramping up. I like to see these dates. I really do love seeing these dates. Um, you are ready for the four of us to be at the galactic table. Um, Gina, chill, my friend. Raymond, Raymond, honey, the White House. The White Hats got this. Relax and enjoy the movie. Well, um, let's see. Oh, it's like that. Life is but a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Life is but a dream. Yeah, you know that song? If I could take you up in paradise up above. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you loved. Life would be a dream, sweetheart. You know that song that reminded that you didn't say it that, but um, yeah, dream movie, something like that. The inner or higher self timelines are for humming. Oh, I thought you said hummers, Michelle, honey, for humans. We are already there. Okay, do we got any other? We got a November something. You've been saying three years now, pay attention to the sky and the water, and but no one has to believe me, Crystal, honey. Yes. That's right. You love the wind chimes, you all. So, um, are there any other, um, it's so bright. It is. You finished watching the most recent videos. Okay. October the 27th, the Feast of the Trumpets. Is that over yet, you all? This is the dream of the kingdom of Black Apple. You are very wrong. Do we got a Black Apple on here, you all? I didn't know we had a Black Apple on here. I can't even see the Black Apple at all. Well, I know the, you know, on the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, you all, do we got a black apple on here? I don't know why somebody said that. <laughs> I do not, but that's all right, you all. There are a lot of different opinions. There really are a lot of different views, a lot of different um, all kinds of things. We, we, we all can say the sky is wild. The sky is very wild. Um, you love the times. Oh, that's wonderful. The White House are the elites at World Economic Forum. Did you all understand that statement right there? The white hats are the elites, W-E-F. It reminds me of the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah. Um, the Feast of Trumpets is over. Uh, it was in September and it's over. There was a black apple one here. Wow, Janet. Wonder what happened to it. Do we got any moderators on here? Because I didn't, I didn't, um, maybe they decided they want to disappear. That's right. Uh, Nibiru, it makes its way back here in our lifetime, Crystal. Um, a war. Expect a war that we may get caught in the middle of. Well, that's exactly right. We probably will. It's the simple... Nibiru is simply one of the planets in the Nemesis system. Um, well, who is the Wormwood, you are? 
Who is the wormwood, you all? Tell tell Rich the Prophet, Christy. You go ahead and tell him Rich the Prophet. Um, whatever Chrissy said, because I don't know what Rich the Prophet is talking about. Dreams are more vivid. Yes, dreams are extremely vivid. Something happening tomorrow, you all. We are here. You see a cloak ship also before. Uh, throw me a wrench, honey. I'm friends and a fella mod. Um, you thought there was an airplane at first? Wormwood is the nemesis after the brown dwarf. I just heard a tree go into the a tree into the forest. We look pretty good right now in the comment section. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah. Wormwood is what the most high Aya is going to use to smite the wicked of the earth. Um, a dream, a UFO shot down. I got a, I got a wormwood plant uh, down here in my, um, on my thing down here on my landscape. I don't know where it's at, but we do have, there is a, a plant called the wormwood. And um, yeah, see so you all look over here. See, we even got things flying right here. They have all different types of planes in the sky. Uh, the, the ladybugs are swarming too, you all. Let me get this ladybug off of me. Um... It's cool that you saw this was the daytime. Looks like a heat wave. It's a planet like Tiamat. And they said, who did they say Tiamat was? Like a dragon also, you all. Um, hello there. I enjoy the live. I love the wind chimes. That's wonderful. Thank you, you all. So um, did you get the predictions for the arrival of Nibiru or the, the planetary system, you all? I don't really follow it that much. I don't. Look at this lone... This lone leaf flying in the air. Boom. Right like that. Let me see this. Uh, made the hammered bracelet for the he heaven. Somebody made it. We have a solar eclipse on the 25th. And a lunar eclipse. Um, the system is here. And it's been here since 2002. I have heard that. Um, let me see your name. Artifice, Artificer Smith. I have heard that because I've been seeing people saying that it's here and ever so often when the sun is whatever right and they're not spraying the skies or something, you could see it. There's something up there in the sky that they're covering up. We do know that. We have an eclipse in Scorpio. Well, what does it, what does it mean for the people who are Scorpio? Uh, John Philip Stevenson, if there is an eclipse in Scorpio. Gina, your hospitality make everyone right at home. Well, thank you. Happy, happy, um, whoa. <laughs> happy, um, happy Fescal. You're, you're welcome. The Derby, you think, is the 25th. Let me see this, you all, because we got something going on here. If there's any predictions about the Nibiru, we got an inky prediction on here too, you all. That inky is going to be arriving on November the second. Is that what you said, inky? Um, activation for the Scorpio people. It means you're feeling the energies coming in more than someone who isn't. Oh, thank you, Thiago Miera. That's wonderful. Um, Athos, twenty twenty nine, then twenty thirty six. What if Athos is actually sent? to smoke the earth before the arrival of Nibiru. YJ Overlander, wow, that's really, um, that's really interesting, it is. Look at that leaf trying to make its way to us, you all. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have got it going on. Yes, can I see your skies? And I will show you what I can. I do. I'm over here in the, over there in the skies, you all. Look at this. So we've got these skies right here. This is the skies right here. Oh, you know, look, it look behind here. See, they're, they're behind here doing their lines too. So something is low lying in the sky, you all. Let me do this because I can't really get to over there that well. Let me look at this. These wind chimes are having a blast. Jaffa. I've heard of Jaffa before. Let me look at this. This right here has not moved from its place. It hasn't. 
right there. So whatever's up there, that's a solid object. Look at that. Um, that looks like an opening right there. Ooh, looks like somebody's peering out. Look at that, you all. A great big slanted square in the sky, and it looks like there is an opening right there, and something is on the inside of it. I hear something coming. I hear something coming in the in the sky, maybe. Okay, I see. I see. Look at this. Looks like there's something like of a rainbow-like thing inside of that spot right there. Okay, we got it, you. So let me see. That's my whole sky. Let's look at this. What on earth? I wanted to see what this was up here. Look, look at these clouds. They don't look like normal clouds, you all. They don't. Uh, there are cloaking, there is cloaking technology um, that can be used up here. Look at the solidness. Wow, look like a big boomerang up there. Look how this is curved down. Um, all of that, you all. So let me, let me look at you, Ba. Um, okay. So, um, we uh, got some rain, Brian Smith. So, yes, um. You believe this Nibiru thing is actually Wormwood and it's coming. Okay, the, do you all have any other names for the Nibiru, uh, the Wormwood and stuff like that? Um, all the positive spiritual beings. Well, that's 99.9% .9 of the people on here. That's right. Thank you. Um, uh, we be feeling our DNA activating. Tia Matt Sun Dog Gloss Evan looks like um, Tia Matt. There are strange things. Is there a par par portal opening? Um, 2046, 2047, um, Lillian Colon. Uh, 2027, Nibiru is to arrive. 2047. Would that mark, if, if you go by biblical things, would that be a seven-year, would that be like the beginning of a seven-year tribulation or something like that? What if all the dates and timestamps that people were talking about is um, something, a cycle that keeps repeating itself over and over throughout the years? What if that happens like that, you all? Um why are there all why all the daryl honey it's because it's warm it's warm it, it was like in the 30s and 20s now look at this it's in 70 and then we've got a barometric pressure right here and then um humidity so yeah i don't know about it you i really don't but i'm wondering about these um prediction dates that are whatever going on the omnipresent eternity so um baby girl uh let me see if i can see tim mccrady's the baby girl this has been happening seven years ago and you have been here seven years 42 years ago two thousand years ago it's for seven seven years you are it's 2023 to 2030 roughly we go um because by 2047, the Federation will change that timeline. Oh, wow. Okay, Tiamat, Wormwood, Planet X, Planet 8, or Planet 9, a Nibiru, whatever you want to call it, it is here. Something is here, you all. We know that something's here because there has been a massive shift, a massive shift of energy, and um, it's causing our lives to shift. We have to shift. We're, it's causing us to re relook at ourselves. And learn to adapt. That's what it's doing, you all. We've got to adapt to our world because our world has changed. And when something like the world changes, we've got to be able to adapt or we're not going to make it, you all. It's going to be a survival of the fittest. It is. And while you maintain that peace within. Survival of the fittest. Really, it's what it is. Um, a great awakening the sky state that's right nothing is as it appears look everything got really quiet 
it's like that totally quiet like a piece and then you know the wind will come so this is really getting like white out right here in the sky they had a strange thing happening when the sun was rising this morning uh, it was really really strange there were like swirls big old swirls like a great big ringed something was um, behind it you all let me see not global our system is warming on all planets something affects them Marie I've heard about that before too you don't agree with this that the spiritual takeover or I come to get back everything that is my no adopting for me and my people we have been adapting to log adapt to what um maintain the peace within that's right uh yj evil souls are being released according to bashar uh the chronology history all the ascended masters are different yeah it is um cern has went to full luminosity and the other day is causing the frequency to go higher and shift faster this is pushing us into higher dimensions and opening portals and no telling what's coming through gypsy blue thank you because i that's the comment i was looking for something like that this morning looking for a comment about cern how it has literally done that because it has these what what is the um magnetic field of cern is it like 7.2 uh kelvin is that kelvin 7.2 something and uh yeah i don't know what it was and earth ain't even a one whatever it is you are. i cannot remember how it was but we did a video on it cern is so powerful it's magnetic field it's it dwarfs that of the earth's and you know when they look for cracks in the sky they have these uh satellites four satellites that they they fly around to and they look for cracks in the magnetosphere and when they find them they alert the other satellites and they go to there and it sends the signal back and that's when the portals open to the other whatever it is you have the warm holes the black holes whatever it is they they've got it going on you all they do let's see this um yeah um they're messing with the schumann resonance gypsy blue i believe it sun is attempting to seal up <gasps> jeffrey cern is attempting to seal up hell they opened hell and now they are in panic well they can't seal it they can't seal it um at all um yeah show the what well, what is kahir show the verse in the bible that says this what did kahir say let me see what he said i might know the verse let me look you all i do know about some verses um but i can't see it on here uh yeah well, I don't know what Kahir said because I can't find it on here. Um, does somebody know what he said? Um, you can't have heaven without hell as above as below. Smash that intuitional button, you all. Somebody is sick of it. Oh, uh, when you realize that you are on a flat plane with a God-given dome of protection above these things, you have no power over you. It is amazing. We live in a simulacrum. Well, there are people who live in a metaverse world. You want to live in the metaverse, you all, because that's the type of world that they are. Um, Philip Getzel get, 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 gets it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Debbie Galloway in reference to what, you all? You never said something was in the Bible, um, but um, they keep telling you the something is broken. Something's broken? um yeah that's right something is broken well people are broken and they got broken lives they really do and um a lot of those lives and broken people the majority of them they need to be healed and some of them will never be healed from their broken lives they won't but some will um and um that that's not good it really isn't and the mandela effect is changing things yes you are the rainbow turtle 
Uh, possibly the frequency of the atmospheric pressure is ringing in your ears. The time is now 444. Bring it out, Gina. I don't know what Gina's going to bring out, you all. I don't. My wind chimes aren't um, chiming now. They need to chime so we can get some more energy. Yeah. <laughs> they do, you all. That's right. Um, your hearing has been acting up, you all. So do you have any predictions of when Nibiru is to arrive? And they said Nibiru could be imminent, nimbus, uh, nimbus, 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 planet 9, planet X, Wormwood, uh, the Destroyer. There's many names. Some people say that it is mythical. It does not exist. It's made up. But then there's something that comes through with red iron oxide and um something's going on okay the the water is there's accounts of water is turning red blood red because of something got into water and the water has become bitter you can't drink them uh it was also like one of the plagues with these waters and stuff mm. so um you have ringing and cracking in your right ear you keep it away, uh, Este, you've all, oh, oh, Nina, honey, is you, do you mean you, you've all Noah, or you mean Yavah Harari, are you talking about Yavah Harari, the, the small man, well, he, he's probably about my height, but he's kind of slender, and he, he's a, a Jewish, a Hebrew professor, okay, are you talking about Yavah Harari, or is this, is this is a different one or something? Um, because the one I know about, he said the algorithms will control the world. You will answer to the algorithms. That's who humans will willingly give away their privacy and everything about them to the algorithms. And the algorithms will choose who you marry, what job you get, what house you buy. The algorithms will make that determination for you. Um, so, um, yeah, you woke up at 3.30. It, it will be easy to spot. Um, the bots, the brown dwarf. Yes, the brown dwarf, you all. The market of the beach. I don't know about a market of a beach, you all. I really don't. So we're just trying to... Um, we live in a simulacrum. A simulacrum. Um, well, what about the metaverse? If we have a simulacrum, uh, why do we need a metaverse, really? Um, that is a that is a theory that is like all make believe and simulation and we don't even exist and yeah but I don't know about that <laughs> I don't um, Derek Galloway what what's you need to elaborate yeah Sandra honey don't you give up don't give up whatever you do. Um, we are crumble. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Um, third grow. It's windy where you're at. Uh, you got to work on yourselves. You do, you all. Meta. Okay, Tim Spa. Let's look at this, you all. Meta in Hebrew means death. Meta in Greek means beyond. Meta symbol means infinity. Infinity and beyond death. Sound familiar? The Toy Story. Wow. That, that does sound familiar. Now you threw in the Toy Story. Um, everyone needs to know what's coming with Meta. They are with that, you all. Um all the stars oh the noah guy um he talks of god but never says well that's exactly right pamela honey yeah that's right um he does not he said that um a certain sect took over the world and he didn't like it he more or less didn't like it um that's all right you all um, have you heard of, yes, I heard of Jason of the RK, um, reminds me of Jason of the Argonauts, Jason and the Argonauts. Um, oh, the wind chimes make body vibrations. 
That's right. Uh, Nibiru is also called the winged disc. The symbol is used everywhere in marketing. That is true. Uh, and sometimes, you know, it looks like a, it has like wings on it. Uh, when it's rising, you all, let's see if the skies has settled down. I think they have, but you see there's all these wigglies all in the sky. Um, we got wasp here and stuff. Uh, yeah, so what, what do we got going in? Your Wi-Fi is tracking. Meta, a toy story is somebody poisoned the, what was, did you see just went across this screen? Other than, I hope it wasn't just an insect. Um, time and nature unplugged from the matrix. You got me live again. Dee Dee Lynn, that is wonderful. Sending much love to you is talking about this Nibiru. Uh, what the predictions were, and some people say that it was coming in 2047, some said 2026, some said 2024, 2022, some say maybe 2040, um, but then Inky's supposed to be coming. Someone said Inky was coming in, was it November the 2nd of this year, and something else was happening on October the something, you all, what was happening in October? Um... Yeah, something was happening, you all. All of this stuff is happening. The Watchers, the Watchers, okay. Um, yeah, well, I don't really talk about much of anything. I'm all over the place. That's right, I'm all over the place and I don't think somebody wants to associate with Gina who is all over the place. That's right, you all. Um, yeah, a solar eclipse, when Meta is huge, that's when we will know we are close. It is going to get big. It is. Inky is here. Gregory Canetta, uh, Can uh, Canetta's. Inky is here. Um, November the 8th, November the 8th, um, 20s and 30s. Um, Inky is Hera. Oh, you said here. A red wave. What do you mean, Michael? A, a, red, a red wave in November. What kind of red wave? Um, the 5th of November. You are so excited. Um, that reminds me of that song. I'm so excited. I'm about to lose control and I just can't hide it. <laughs> that right there, you are. A red wave in... Um, November, um, you awaked at 4.44. Well, that's synchronicity, Jeffrey, honey. Um, it was a way to, oh, Exshana X. What if that does happen, you all? What if that does stuff gets um, canceled? You dreamt there was a mall. It was a regular day, and you guess happened. You was outside, and you went into the mall, and there was a huge dragon that flew down to the mall. Oh, wow. Um, what is coming now? There are almost too much. Thank you for all you do, you all. A red October. Well, what if um, red October doesn't come here in October? Whatever red October. Alex Coyler is, Coyler, Collier is reporting Inky is here. Um, Inky and Inlil. I've heard of those two rule the universe and you think you spelled it right um look up ancient manuscript love you too in word um yeah who really something yeah you are so let's this is my most active um wind chime right here my most active one it's in a good location um, it's hard for you to trust Inky is Enlil and Enlil being good. Um, I think that's supposed to be an, is it supposed to be another name for God and then Satan or, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Shoot, it's behind the tree, you all. It's the, it's the rainbow like signature. It's behind the tree. I can't get it. My tree's in the way. Can you see it behind this tree? 
Sheena, can you get somewhere because you can't see it? So it's like um, right there. Shoot, it's going away. You are. There was another like rainbow signature thing right there in the center. And see, they can't really cover everything up in the sky at all. They can't. It's impossible. Uh, look how all the white stuff went away. But then look at this. They're still doing their thing um, up here. They're blowing in the warm air. Look how all this stuff disappeared. Uh, and then it's like went up here. Look, doesn't that look neat? It's like two great big eyes looking. I kind of like it. Um, it is wild. It is so wild. That's very pretty. My battery's low. That's right. My battery's low and I'm not going to be on here. So is there something inside there? See that inside that? Um, <laughs> look like <coughs> a great big face is what it looks like you all yeah it looked like a celestial storm There's so much energy up there in the sky there really is a lot of energy up there um let me let me throw this down let me come off of here you all because now my battery's dying i'm gonna have to be going but you know if there's any other predictions you have about the nibiru coming or ne nemesis whatever name they going by and it's coming soon can you put it down in here because i know there's a lot of more um chatter being heard about these predictions a hell lot more and there's people who can see these planetary systems they said there's a planetary system in the sky and some people are trained to um some people are trained to see it with their eyes like i can look up in the sky and i can if there's a if there's a long ship up there i can spot it uh, in the clouds and some people have their eyes trained for something other than that the time is 456 the 12th planet is in your library the ladybugs are swarming this is the time of year when they swarm you all, i am going to be going since my battery is going to die um i am but if you've got any of that prediction in here uh, could you put it in like the comment section also so that people can look back and reference it because I don't know what's going on and a lot of people don't know all the places that other people go to and all the things that they hear. Hello there, Susan B. Honey. All of that, you all. Yeah. Um, meta is they are a huge evil and that's... that's uh, to be tamed or stopped you need people to understand about how serious meta is isn't meta let me just say this is it meta they said where you can virtually put on your goggles and um, you can meet your co-workers in the virtual land but you got to wear the goggles on your face and you have virtual meetings and stuff like that it sounds like avatars it really does it sounds like avatars so that kind of sounds scary if you if you talk about an avatar um it will be everything yeah it doesn't sound good i'm not going to wear no goggles on my face but then if you think about it if you have the implant in your head like this by elon musk right there uh you are connected with that what's that Neuralink thing you all Neuralink, and then as his satellites fly above well, you'll be constantly connected to the World Wide Web. Um, I wonder if you can... I don't know. That's all wild, you all. I haven't really studied much on Metaverse. Meta. Um, but thank you for putting that in there, Stacy. That's why you left Facebook a year ago. Um, it, is, uh, it is different than they will... They Okay. Oh, okay. I got you, Stacy, Honey, you talking about digital digital currency and it is coming you all there is no stopping the digital currency because uh, when you buy something even the founder of ethereum he told the people who mined the ethereum or the nodes or something like that that they could not withdraw their ethereum out uh because they need like 13 whatever things per whatever for the mining he told them they could not withdraw it out up to twenty-five thousand dollars, they cannot withdraw. So they—he's telling them when they can draw, take their Ethereum and cash it in. 
So this is what happens, you all. And these companies, if they're into the digital thing, because you everything you spend your money on, they track it. If they find out you purchase, say, firearms or something, they can refuse to do business with you or refuse to sell anything or let you buy anything. Oh, you will be completely tracked with digital currency. Every single thing you do, it leaves a trail much better than the internet, you all. Every, everywhere that transaction happened, it's going to be documented. Even with the QR codes that they put on the packaging, um, it tracks everything from where it first, the raw materials, all the way till it reaches the consumer. Completely, every single part of the supply chain, you all. You're gonna be tracked is what's gonna happen. Everything you do, or you can refuse to participate, um, but it is, that it's coming. Uh, I think by 2024 or 2025, it will be uh, probably 75% up and going, you all. 75%. You, we got a small window, we do. And some people say, well, there will never be a cashless society. There will be a cashless society uh, that will be 90% digital. Uh, that's right, you can participate or you can refuse to participate but it will be where you won't be able to buy nothing. That's right, without it. Um, so I am gonna go, you all. That's right, because um, that's right. You will own nothing and you'll be happy. You'll be very happy. Yeah, that's right, social credit. That's right, just like in China. If you buy gold and silver, well, they got digital gold and they got digital silver. They got digital, digital diamonds, digital oil. Everything's somehow going to be tied into it, you all. So everything can be tracked. Um, so I am going to go, you all. I am. So our world is changing, and there's supposed to be a planetary system out there, and there's also um, lots of talk about other things going on in our world. And look at how beautiful the, the, the blue sky is with the green, you all. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, and with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. That's right. Digital. It reminds me of digital. Digimon. Digital monsters. Digimon. Did it say digi, digital? You know that cartoon? Digimon. Digital monsters. Somebody, I'm, I'm not going to leave until somebody who remembers that cartoon. What did it say? Did it say digital mon digital Digimon digital monsters? That's what I want to know. Is that did it say digital monsters? Because I, I, I want to know if I remembered it. Digimon has the power. Okay, gotcha. That just popped in my mind. There we go. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Um, I already said it, you all. So I'm gonna go. Um, love you.